Hi everybody, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of four books, host of two PBS specials. Here today to give you another tip on how to help you create a more meaningful life, and have more influence in your life and in the lives of others. Today I want to talk about the importance of knowing when to take a break, knowing when to shift from one activity to the other, especially when that one activity has to do with kind of your nose to the grindstone kind of thing, kind of needing to persevere to finish some particular task or some aspect of work. This comes from a quote that it was sent to me by my friend and business partner, Steve Butler. And he says, the problem with always keeping your nose to the grindstone is pretty soon all you smell is grind. Wouldn't you love that? <laughs> and I think it really speaks to what it's like when we're kind of, okay, I got to do something. And it's kind of a grind, but I got to keep at it. I got to keep at it. I can't quit. I can't stop. And we kind of find ourselves grinding through things. And I'm going to suggest that's not us at our best. That's not us at our most creative, our most inspirational, our, our highest ability to bring our best to life. And therefore, what I suggest we do is use that grind that uh, as a valuable signal. You know, you've heard me talk about how stress is a signal something needs to change. <laughs> it's not what something or someone is doing to us. It's a signal. And when we listen to that signal and change just for a little bit, we can refresh and bring our best back to the task and probably do it better. I mean, there's study after study, research has shown that when we're willing to take a break, especially from a rather mundane or routine or kind of grinding activity, we are able to bring our best back pretty soon. It didn't take a long time. You know, the whole idea of stopping to smell the roses instead of keeping your nose to the grindstone and always smelling grind, you know, there's something to that. So what I think we ought to do is look at what we would teach someone we love. You know, if we sense somebody kind of working on something and they're just kind of being ground down by the process, we might say, hey, take a break, you know, take a walk outside, um, do something that you really enjoy that actually engages that upper 80% of the brain, brings that joy, excitement back to life. Maybe even a nap, you know, uh, I know the Huffington Post has put little nap pods in their particular office because they found that when people are willing to take 15, 20 minute nap, they come back more alert, more refreshed. So if you find yourself keeping your nose to the grindstone uh, more often than you want, if you find yourself smelling grind more often than you want, what I encourage you to do is stop and smell the roses, stop and create an experience that is designed to bring back what you love and who you are at your best. And then you can go back to that task from a new perspective, maybe even doing it in a new way. Hope you're finding these videos valuable. I'm having a wonderful time bringing them to you. If so, please hit the like button. You know how Google and uh, YouTube really pay a lot of attention to that. You can subscribe to my videos if you're not already. Go to YouTube. I've got over a thousand subscribers now. It's very complimentary. Thank you for all of you subscribers out there. You can also, by the way, go to my website and put your name and email address in the subscribe box. And each week I will send you this video as, along with the quote and two or three paragraphs about how to apply that quote to life. By the way, for those of you on YouTube, just notice that how to apply that quote to life, those two or three paragraphs is also in the description. So feel free to read that for a little more in-depth version of this. If you want me to come and create a presentation for your, or your organization about accessing your creativity, dealing with stress, dealing with difficult people, that's what I do. And I bring in how the brain processes information as a way of helping you become more influential in your life and in the lives of others. So until then, here's to you, bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.